Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In the previous video, I talked about the arity model to decompose a time series into three components. In this video, I'm going to talk about the multiplicative model to decompose a YT series into the three components that we talked about earlier, trend cycle component, seasonal component and uh, the remainder component. Now the main difference between the multiplicative model and the arity model will be that these three components will enter in the multiplicative form here rather than in the arity form. So now uh, this type of model is suitable if we observe a time series which shows variations in the trend or the seasonal patterns. Those are not stable across uh, various uh, parts of the series. For example, look here we see that uh, the trend cycle it's not stable the trend cycle is different in this part of the series and then we are seeing that there is an increasing uh, trend here as compared with uh, in this uh, part of the series similarly if we observe a seasonal pattern in the series which is uh, not stable across uh, different parts of the series so see here the seasonal patterns are increasing as we are moving in time so see here the seasonal pattern is smaller here but the seasonal pattern is larger and larger as we are moving in time hence we can say that uh, the seasonal pattern is not stable it is varying with the level of the series if we observe the variation around the trend cycle or the seasonal component that appears to be proportional to the level of the series we'll use a multiplicative model rather than uh, an additive model. So if we take uh, the log of a series, we are essentially using a multiplicative model, although we are using additive model, but uh, essentially by taking the log, we are transforming this multiplicative model into an additive model. So even with the additive model, at the back of it, we are still using uh, the multiplicative model because we believe that the variations in uh, the trend cycle or the seasonal components uh, are not uh, stable across various parts of the series. So this is the intuition behind the multiplicative model and uh, we will look several methods to obtain uh, the seasonal component, the trend cycle component and the remainder component uh, from a time series by using uh, several methods uh, in this chapter. So we'll talk about various methods uh, that we can use to decompose uh, any time series into these three components the main thing will be to pay attention to whether we should be using uh, those uh, methods in the multiplicative form or in the additive form and uh, essentially our decision will be based on uh, whether these patterns are changing uh, with the level of the series or not okay i'll see you in the next video to talk about uh, adjusting a time series uh, for seasonality all right see you in the next video bye bye